Hey guys, welcome back for another video. If you are new here, my name is Lulu. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna be sharing some hair extensions with you guys from GoGo -Go Hair. So they reached out and sent me these really awesome hair extensions. So I wanted to give you guys just like a full review and check them out. So without further ado, we're gonna jump right into today's video and get started. Okay, are you guys ready to see the extensions? Here they are in all their glory and gorgeousness. So I actually took them out of the box. They come in like this little round box, which is so cute. You would not think that hair extensions are in there, but they are. And it also comes with a really cool like little clip so you can clip your hair up. But because I have so much hair right now, because I do actually have still my other hand tied wefts and you can actually layer these on top which is what I'm gonna do I have to use like a larger clip so I'm gonna be using this big guy to hold up my hair but if you have like normal thickness or weight of hair the little clip that they provide would be perfect for you guys but I like to take them out and I just put them on a hanger you can seriously get these hangers anywhere they're actually a pant hanger that I took out of my closet so I could hang the clip and extensions on them um, so I did get this from I think like Target or something like that. So you don't need to spend tons of money getting like a special, you know, hair extension clip for your extensions. You can just get one from pretty much anywhere. But talking about the extensions, I actually pre curled them. So when I used to wear like clip in extensions back in college, I used to pre curl the extension because I tend to wear my hair curls and I always found it easier to pre curl my hair, pre curl the extension and then throw them in. So, and then I'll just kind of blend at the end any other pieces. But I did want to talk about the extension and then show you guys how I'm gonna put them in. I mean, to be honest, I have not worn hair extensions that have clips in probably like nine years, maybe 10. So it's been a long time. So hopefully we can hide some of these little stubborn hairs that are a little, like thicker or the right little shorter ones are gonna poke out. We'll see how this all goes. So I'm gonna show you guys like the placement of it. Um, but definitely let me know down below in the comments if you have any suggestions on how to clip up some of your little stubborn hairs. I have seen people take them, twist them in the back and kind of clip it up. Or what people have done, have taken a little like hair tie elastic and tied up the bottom hair and then just kind of leave it in elastic. So those are definitely options that you can do. So jumping into the hair extensions, I did decide to pick up the 22 inch because I wanted all that drama. I mean, if you're gonna go for hair extensions, you might as well just like go for the full thing. And I decided to do the 22 inch because it's super long. I wanted that mermaid hair, especially for like fun events or doing really cool braids or different stuff like that. I think it'll add a lot of like fun drama and extra like dimension. And I did get them in the seamless hairstyle. So I'm gonna take them off so I can show you. This is what the top of the weft looks like and then it has the clip on the back so it's like super thin where it actually hits your scalp making it like super undetectable and I also got these in the color bleach balayage which matches perfectly with my hair I was actually really surprised because I'm you know looking at all the pictures on their website trying to figure out which one is gonna be the best match for me and this does the job it's literally almost indetectable once it's in my hair. And I love that they have that natural balayage effect of going from like the dark to like the middle shade and then all the way to the light. So it really follows like my natural hair coloring, but they have a ton of hair colors like to choose from. And they also have different styles of extensions. So you don't have to get this kind that I got. They have like the halo type with like the wire that goes across. They have regular wefts with more grams of hair. And I think like in hindsight, because I still have my hand tied extensions in and they're pretty thick throughout here, I probably would have gone for ones with a little bit more um, like grams of hair to it. So it's be a little thicker. But I think without my hand tied extensions in, if I was just doing these, this would be perfect because I don't have that much hair. So it would match perfectly with like my natural hair density, but all in all, they still look fabulous and they blend really nicely. So we're gonna try to like put these in and blend them perfectly. So the color is bleach balayage. 
and they are also giving you guys 15% off with the code lulu15 so definitely check out their website on gogo -Go hair and see if you can snag yourself a pair of discounted hair extensions these are 100% human hair so that's great because you can like curl them style them like your own hair you could even tone them so if it's not like the correct blonde you can still tone them a little bit with like some toner or some like blue shampoo or even purple shampoo uh, but i would definitely check out their website but let's get started and kind of put these in and see how we're going to blend these all together okay so the pack of extensions comes with seven different wefts so it's going to have two with the two clips like this which are perfect for like this little like side areas uh, at least i'm imagining from when i used to wear extensions back in the day and then it also comes with two little baby ones that just have one clip and I also envision these kind of going like in here to kind of hide maybe some of like this little pieces of hair we'll see how that goes and then it does also have two with the three clips like this and you get two of those so these might be good either like going like across or maybe one on the bottom and I don't know maybe one a little bit up here I'm not really sure yet but then we have these guys and it does come with one longer one. So this one has four clips and it looks like that. So I've always kind of started like from the bottom and worked my way up. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna try to clip up all my hair and start at the bottom. So I'm gonna start with the three clip dwarf and do it right here at the, like the nape of my neck just to kind of help cover some of those little tinier pieces down at the bottom. And what I like to do also is if my hair is a little dirty, I don't feel like I need to like tease the base of it. Um, I will sometimes hairspray a little at the base, but if my hair is super clean and slick, I will then tease it, add a little hairspray to give it a little bit of grit so it has something to hold on to. So here is the first one. And it's hitting super nice and long. It's like about right here on me. And just for like height reference, I am 5'7". So that is where it's hitting me for the 22 inch. And what I'm gonna do next is, now that I have those in, I am gonna place those little two pieces right at the bottom of my neck. So I'm gonna take these little guys with just the one clip and I'm gonna go right under here to hide this little hairs right at the bottom so I'm gonna clip those in and see how like much better that looks covering as opposed to having these little hairs like stick out which looks kind of funny so I'm gonna clip the other side too sorry also if I'm not looking directly at the camera I'm trying to use my little mirror on the side to actually see where I'm clipping it but maybe I should use this one too so yeah, that looks pretty good. It's kind of like hidden. I could probably curl that piece. It doesn't curl in, it curls out. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. Okay, so next we're gonna pull up the next layer to kind of hide more of it. And we're gonna use for this section, I'm thinking the biggest one would look the best. So I have this guy with the four clips and we are just gonna clip it across the entire middle of the head. So now that I have all those pieces in, I wanna get some right here. So what I'm gonna do is take that other last piece that I had to kind of just put it in the back and I'll put the other two pieces right here. Okay, so now that I brushed out, here's the final look. I feel like a serious mermaid with this kind of hair. I mean, I have never in my life had have had hair like this. I'm kind of obsessed with the fun length it is, but I will show you guys the back so you guys can see like the full thing. So here it is. We have all this hair and I could probably put it in you know, a nice little like ponytail. And then I just kind of, you know, pulled a little bit of pieces forward. I do think I could probably do a little bit of a better job in certain spots like down here. Maybe I would do that trick of like twisting up a little bit of those back pieces. But all in all, I feel like it looks really good. And look at this color match. I mean, come on, you can barely tell where my natural hair ends and then the extensions start and that is like the best part of it. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed seeing this little review of these hair extensions. Again, this is the Bleach Blonde Balayage, and I'll make sure I have all the information for you guys down in the description box below, as well as that discount code. So if you want a discount for 15% off, you're gonna type in at checkout, Lulu15, and get 10% off on their entire website, all the hair extensions. So definitely check out GoGo Hair for their great items. And I mean, it's super fun for to like a way to like change up your look and just have something different or for events or parties or for costumes, anything like that. Hair extensions are the move for sure. But we'll see you next week for another video and hope you have a good one. Bye.